Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be reviewing Amphibia Season 1 Episode 3 Story Number 2 Stakeout and yeah sorry no clips today because they don't have any clips of Stakeout that's you know provided that I can use for YouTube. So, yeah, so I think that's going to be like the concept where like every other story is going to, I'm going to, I can show clips, but the other ones I can't because, you know, for episode two, I had, you know, stuff for, um, Kane crazy, but <clears throat> not for the, uh, roommate episode, the, um, flood, sweat and tears. I have one for, um, Hop luck, the pot luck competition, but I don't have I don't have clips for Steakhouse. So I think it might be every other story, but I don't know. It could go out of order. I just wanted to say that. But anyway, um, so story number two of episode three, Stakeout, and we start um the beginning of the um story of the episode where they are in the house. And Ann and Hop Hop are on the couch, and um, Ann's like, like, oh, like you know, this couch is so, uh, and this couch is so old. And Hop Hop's like, back in my day, we didn't have any furniture. And like Ann's are like, oh, you can get arrested for having a couch this lumpy again, bruises. Uh, and back in my day, we called that character, and we, we um, he put his like leg over his other leg, like you know, and it did crack me, you know, like he's, he's old. Um, so, the kids are helping with, like, you know, pull, pull, um, carrying the boxes and stuff. Anne's carrying the boxes full of, um, turnips or something. And, um, Hop was like, Anne, be careful. Um, there, there's, like, a, um, like, a rock that's not in place so it can make you trip. And she trips and, like, and Hop was, like, picking up the, the turnips and back in the box. Well, he's just carrying the, the turnips and he's like, back in my day, um... Wait, wait, wait a second. Um, back, back in my day, um, we didn't complain so much, and we watched where we're going. Well, and, and it's like, well, back where I'm from, um, we fix our cruddy, uh, our crummy houses. It's like, oh, this house is like family. You apologize to a house? And, um, Sprig and Polly, um, well, I guess this Polly's playing solitaire. <laughs> She's a baby, so, uh, um, and, um, Hop Papa and Anna are slamming the bathroom doors where, um, and it's like, back where I'm from, we didn't rush people in the bathroom. And Hop Pop's like, well, back at my day, we didn't have a bathroom. And it's like, would you stop, um, bursting the door with a battering ram? And Hop Pop's like, which is, you know, classic, you know, girls, um, they Hop Pop's like, it's been two hours. You know, the girls always take so long in the bathroom. It's kind of like a stereotype, but eh, whatever. And Spring's like, oh, this is getting so annoying. And um, ha and Polly, you know, um, you know, she's you know smart. She's very smart for her age. Because we know nothing about her parents, so maybe like their mom or dad or both were probably super smart. But you know, she's she's like, oh, they're just getting used to each other. It's not like you can force people to get along. And Spring is like, of course not, Polly. And Polly's like, you know, shuffling the cards back into, like, where you would put it in a deck. Um, and then she's, he's like, of course not. And he just sh 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 shivels out of the room. And he, he just pops his head out. He's like, of course not. And Polly's just, get out of here. And, you know, um, <laughs> Hop Hop and Anne and, um, I think Polly's there also. Are just sitting on the, the like, you know, on the porch and, you know, just... Uh, like, yeah, it's a peaceful day. Like, oh, nothing can go wrong. And uh, Spree just comes out with a crazy eyes. We've been robbed! And Hop was like, say why? And, and, you know, um, and this kind of makes sense for her to say this. Like, if Sprig were to say it, like, it wouldn't make sense because he's not from the human, um, realm. Is it realm or universe? Well, whatever, and where Anne's from. And, and it's like, <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But Hop Hop like, just um, said the perfect sit sitcom catchphrase. And Hop Hop, like, this makes sense for him to say, like, it must be so painful to make so little sense all the time. 
and they they um um they go through the fields and you know like where like the garden is um and you see like a lot of corn has been taken and it's like oh, my prize was my prize winning corn and Anne's like oh you win run sorry hop out's like my prize winning corn and Anne's like you won prizes like not that type of prizes like kind of like metaphorical and it's where it's like the injustice this is so horrible we need to catch this thief and it's like you're right sprig and you might and I might say that uh, they, and like this is so good of you they care so much about produce and hot pot's like yeah very odd and like you, you know like we we need to set a stake out so we can catch this thief and and hop was like oh okay and um which the name um stake out and um Sprig, um, it kind of like you sets it up where it's like, and only two people can be is Anne and Hop Hop. Like, what? Well, yeah, I can't do it because I have an attention span of a. And it watches a butterfly. Like, oh, look at that. And Anne, she, well, I, I guess she's probably super strong. She probably thought she could take care of herself. So, am I going to last slide? I guess because I know what's coming in different in the other episodes later on this season, what Polly's capable of. I'm not gonna say because I'll be a spoiler, but I probably and this thought she could take care of herself. Was like, what about Hop Hop and Polly? Dude, that seems like a winning combo. And Hop Hop makes the point like Polly's a baby, and and it's like it was just a suggestion that Hop Hop, mm. and the Hop is like, oh, okay, fine, very well. But let's be honest, this is gonna be me out there. And it's gonna be sleeping. It's like, why would I fall asleep? Um, first, are you like a hundred years old? I'm a Chris 60, was seven, eight, 69, eight. It was a Chris 67 or 68. So that's like Hop Hop's age, age, seven, 67 or 68. That I narrowed it down to there. And um, Polly's like, you sort of, you sold the corn, right? Yeah, I totally sold the, sold the corn. Now this will be perfect. And now they'll do a stakeout and, um, you know, they were going to get along. And Polly is like, Sprig, you can't just force two people to get along like this. And, you know, Sprig just, Sprig just, like, he's like, I raided. And now, like, you know, Sprig, <laughs> Polly's just, um, in Sprig's hammock. And, uh, I, I think it's his hammock. Is it? I, I forgot. But, um, because I don't have the clips right in front of me. Um, and Sprig just gets out of his telescope. Looks okay. Um, he t t spins it around. It's like, and, and he sees um Anne and Hop Hop like around this like stone edge a little bit. I don't know the way you would call it. Yeah, like it's like a tiny stone hedge, or maybe maybe it's like a wall. I don't know. But anyway, they're they're by it, and so he's like, now I have to see the friendship bloom. And Polly's like, ah. And um, you know, it's nighttime, and Hop Hop's looking for the bandit, and Anne's like, um, I guess maybe they're doing like different watches like i'll do the first watch and you do the second watch they didn't really explain it because i don't want to think of Anne as someone that like didn't want to catch the thief because what's the point of her just being out there if she's not going to do anything so i'm just assuming they're doing different watches like hop up does the first watch and is the second or maybe and did the first one now hop up soon the second so i'm just assuming that because i don't want to assume that and just went there just to read because Anne's like reading a magazine and hop up makes a good point we don't want to scare the 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 thief the feet Sorry, the thief away, thief, the thief away. So put put, put out the candle, and, and she's like like okay, and then, like like she put, put, she blew out the candle, and Anne's like oh, and Hop Hop's like <laughs> I knew you wouldn't last to give her a wink. So like um, and like and Anne's like oh worry about yourself, and like um, this is another point in the episode where I saw I what I, what I said in the previous story. Um, what was it called? Um, Hop Luck, where at the end of, um, Kane Crazy, where Anne and Hop Hop got that little bit of middle ground and then expressed it more, where they got Anne's new recipes and Hop Hop's old traditional recipes and came together and said, I'm really glad they got the middle ground. They kind of go backwards from there in this one, but it's, I'm not blaming Anne entirely, where I said, like, oh, Anne, you're stealing, you're manipulating, you're making fun of Hop Hop, you did it twice, so, but, where, I remember the Hop Hop said, like, back in my day, and Anne said, like, where I'm from, it's not entirely Anne's fault, where, 
like Ant's definitely like doing some of it, but Hot Pop's like doing it back, like, oh, I knew you went last, so like he's kind of making fun of her. So like, guys, you gotta get the middle ground there. They can't go backwards. But since it's not entirely Anne doing it, where Hot Pop just called her a princess in the Kane Crazy episode, which is only one time, now Hot Pop's doing like a lot. So, mm. and and it's like, oh, worry about yourself. I got this, and like it's kind of like the um power up drink you know like kind of like gatorade <laughs> with spikes all over it and it's like what was it berry blitz the drink that punches you in the face oh that silly drink will keep you up and like this will and he opens it and like and it's like ugh, what is that um horribleness and it's like oh mama's gorge tea um and the, oh i'm not surprised you didn't like the taste it's way too strong for you oh it's not as strong as my berry blitz and they just looked at the drinks and looked at each other give me that and and his and hop up is like drinking the berry blitz in one gulp or like a couple gulps and and is just chugging the gorge tea <laughs> and they just they don't like it and they're just coughing and like their expressions were so priceless i wish i can show it but i can't Ugh, whatever um, and, like, you know, they're just laughing, and it's like, oh, my God, you should have seen your face. You, I thought you were going to die. And it's like, oh, me? What about you? I, I didn't know you can turn that color. What, do you got chameleon in your, bro in your blood? And, you know, they're, they're just, like, gonna finish laughing and crying a little. And, and it's just staring in the sky. Ooh, yeah, that was a beautiful shot right there. Um, and Anne's like, you know, I wonder if I can ever go home. And how about, you know? I know was like to miss something. I find myself pining for the uh, good old days way too much. And and said like yeah, I guess we're kind of similar that way. Where you know I'm always going about home, and you're always uh, going about the, the good old days. And happens like I guess we're just kind of softies because and that's continuity from the Kane Crazy episode where like, the reason why it's so harsh on you because you're just like me when I was thirteen. Like I think that's Anne's age, and they like, rough around the edges. Um, and like, you know, I guess we're just kind of, we're both kind of softies. And like, yeah. And Sprig's like, you know, we go back to Sprig and Polly. And, you know, Polly's not really making an expression because, eh, okay. And Sprig's like, oh, hey, look, they're connecting. And Anne, ugh, being Anne, that one I hate. And she's like, oh, my situation is way worse than yours. And Hop was like, oh, we, you, you just had to make it all about yourself. And Hoppa puts her in place. So like, oh, I'm Anne, and my situation is worse than everyone else's. And Anne's like, oh yeah, well, at least my head is not um a tea kettle. And and like, and she's like, huh? He, she rubs her eyes, and Hoppa's head is a orange tea kettle. And they're like, oh yeah, well, at least my hair is not made of uh, rainbow stardust. And like Anne's hair is made of rainbows, like stardust. And like he, his like nose is pouring out tea. Where did the tea come from? Uh, I guess it's part of the hallucination where all this like like bubbles come out of nowhere and they're like in this hallucination like like hop off like what's happening to us and and the, the, like I don't know like she's saying no but with the drinks uh, um they like blind their faces and they like, oh, the drinks and she's like our body chemistry must be so drastically different by and our body is weirdly reacting to our extreme beverage she says something like that and like. That is the most smart thing that I've ever said. How pop is like the tea cups like like you know where it's like boiling. It's like oh the tea's ready. It's like this is terrible. I should never have let you trick me into trying something new. It's like wait oh yeah well your old mama's tea they did this to me. And how is like oh. and like yes, you go back to Sprig and Polly and like you know. and and how pop but like like doing like this like you, you know, like you're not saying anything. Um. And Spray's like, oh no, they're fighting again. And Polly's like, oh wow, what a surprise. And like, like um, Spray's like, 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 oh, no, 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 like he kicked the telescope. And like, no, 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 this can't be it. I'm not gonna let the family get destroyed. I guess I didn't mention this, but like there was like this Henderson family next door where they fought the time and then they, um, like moved and, and like Wally, um, what, what, was that in it? Was that? Yeah, Wally, Wally, the accordion guy. Um, they stole all their dishes and like, oh, nothing better than to rob a um a broken family. And so I got kind of forgot about that tiny part, but I just don't mention it. But like, like, uh, I gotta fix this. And 
Pa's like, oh, you wouldn't. I was like, oh yeah. They got like a, um, a cape. A black cape and a black scarecrow hat is literally like, oh, I'm gonna keep on going and steal more corn and steal more corn and until the family's saved. And Pa's like, you're mad. To try and stop me. And it, like jumps out the window, like kind of cool animation with like the cape. And Pa's like, mm. a really concerned look on her face. And like, you know, um, Hop Hop is the, like, like, you reach through. You reach for my drink first. Like, no, you reach for my drink first. Like, this is my fault. And how about, like, I know it's not mine. And they, they, they hear, like, um, like, rustling through, like, the, 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 the corn and stuff. <gasps> like, the thief, the corn thief. And, um, uh, Spring has a crazy face and has, a, like, like, a little tool to, the, like, like, um, to switch blade to, um, cut out the corn. And Polly tackles him. It's like, like, stop this madness. And Spring is like, oh, no, it's worth it to save the family. And then, like, Anne and Hop Hop is, like, like, you know, finds them and, like, stop their thieves. They're like, huh? And, like, Sprig and Polly both fuse into the giant corn monster, which looks so cool. And, like, with, with fire green eyes. And they have, like, a little co corn attached to it with, with, like, fire green eyes that represent Polly. This Polly is sort of on top of Sprig, so it kind of fused. So I thought, I thought it was pretty funny. And like, like, oh my god, it's a monster. We gotta defeat it, like, using, um, like, powers. And Hop was like, like, tea kettle beam. And, and it's like rainbow magic. And like, like you know, it kind of made, like, an animation where there's like, a teapot and burst and, like, a big energy. And it's supposed to blow up the corn. And, like, it didn't do anything. Oh, we gotta use more tactics. And, like, in real life. And Hop up and not doing anything. They're acting crazy. <laughs> and, um... Spring probably just looking at each other like what? And like, oh you must be using the magic. We need those we need to use those power-ups. Like power-ups? The like, springs are power-ups? And kinda of looked at the oh it's weapons. So they, they gotta leave. They gotta run. And then Spring um sorry not um and a hop up like ah <laughs> and um I guess Polly was like pushed to the side and um they threw like the scythe and the the dum dum the the the, 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 the the pitchfork on the ass spray can his hat and they're like oh no I'm sorry like, I promise I won't do it again I'm just trying to help and like, like in their vision they kind of see the corn monster begging and like raw 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 and they're like and it's like does that sound like Sprig and Hop is like yeah you're right and he kind of fused back at Sprig where like you know Ant's hair turns back to normal Hop Hop no longer has a tea kettle for her head and they're like, no, none of that was real, but that was so scary and lifelike. And the aunt's like, yeah, and you defended me. And the and Hop was like, and Hop Hop is like, and you stood by my side, like a true warrior. And Anne's like, you know what, Hop Hop? You know, and back where I'm from, we call that having a friend's back. And Hop was like, well, back in my day, we called it pulling a stinky Maguire. But, you know, since you don't know Stinky, I guess we'll go with yours. And they both laugh and they say, oh, I'm tired. And they, they both fall asleep. And Spriggy just has a trauma traumatized look on his face. And Polly just goes back to him and, like, he's like, wow, Sprig, I owe you an apology. Your plan sort of worked. And Sprig's like, oh, thanks, Polly. But, let's time, but next time, let's go with yours. And he just passes out. And Polly's like, oh, I guess I better go drive them inside. But first, I'm parched, and she, like, rolls, and, um, I can have a, like, a little complaint where, did Anne just leave the drink there, or did she bring him with her and just place it there? Like, I just found it kind of weird, and, like, it seemed like Hop Hop drank the whole thing of that first bottle, because Hop Hop, I mean, Polly drinks some of it, and, like, throws the bottle and didn't, like, spill or anything, so she must have drank a whole bottle, and... Or maybe a half the bottom, maybe someone was gone. And and like she has a hallucination, like, you ready to roll Boulder Tron? And the big boulder turns into like a boulder monster. It's like, Yes, my queen. A good man, Boulder Tron, good man. You know, it was a pretty good episode, but wish things, you know, kinda went a little bit better, you know. And making fun of Hop Hop. Um Hop Hop making fun of Anne. Um should I, um, 
I know Spike was just trying to help, but he still stole the corn. Um, yeah, Spike stealing the corn. I know he was only trying to help, but uh, you gotta let them work out their own issues. And um, let me see. And the whole bottle situation of how like Polly got it. Mm. So I give it a six out of ten. Yeah, just Anne making fun of Hop Pop, Hop Pop making fun of Anne, Sprig stealing the corn, and Polly getting that bottle out of nowhere. I really thought it was gonna be a seven out of ten, but I remember Polly with the bottle. Like, how did I get there? How's it filled? How did it not spill? Like, eh, you know, six out of ten. It didn't fail, but really, like, it wasn't like that. Good. The animation was really good. Like the night sky was really good. That good conversation with Hop Pop and Anne bonding. I loved, but you know, just everything that it could have been resolved kind of differently because you know, Polly said kind of leave it alone, but Sprig did it anyway. I guess if you don't really count for Sprig stealing the corn, I guess it can be a 7 out of 10, but mm. Mm. should I make it a 6.5? Mm. Nah, I'm gonna stick with a six. I was almost gonna make it a six point five, but mm. because I know they would kind of want to make Polly like have a hallucination, but they didn't really need to. And if you wonder, maybe I should take a point off for Polly not bringing them inside. She probably did, and they just didn't show it like in the um episode, so. Anyway, so, um, you know, it was a really good, uh, it was a good episode, but it could have done better. Just those four f major, um, flaws where I just, like, didn't really appreciate for, um, I hope this episode, they like, taught Anne and Hop Hop, like, to finally trust each other and not make fun of each other anymore. So, you know. I want I want to know what you guys thought of you know episode three um you know and next week on you know starting Tuesday and Wednesday we are gonna do episode four and Thursday I don't know what we're gonna do so yep yeah, next week Tuesday and Wednesday is gonna be episode four I think it's the um what's it called the domino effect and taking charge. Mm, yeah, I believe that that's the name of the stories in episode four, but I could be wrong. But so that that's gonna be for Tuesday, and Wednesday, and Thursday. I don't know what I'm gonna be doing. It's gonna I'm not sure if it's Amphibia, Big City Greens, Ducktales. I don't know. But everyone, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, give me a big thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and I'll see you guys on Tuesday. Bye.